Hey, I'm Nick from Dorman Products with some tips on installing shifter linkage bushings. A lot of people install these bushings incorrectly, so our tech line gets a lot of installation help calls on these. I'm going to demonstrate a few techniques that will help you install these successfully on your car or truck. This bushing, part number 14104, fits GM and Chrysler vehicles, but these tips apply broadly to many cable bushings because the process is similar on most cars and trucks. The first thing to know is that you may not use all of the included pieces in the kit. For example, in this package we have two identical bushings and a fork piece. Some vehicles use just one bushing at the shift selector. Others use a bushing on both ends of the cable. This duplicate bushing is either necessary or a spare depending on the vehicle. The fork piece is a cable slack adjustment retainer, which not all applications will use. This adjusting clip is often broken when removing or readjusting the end of the shift cable. We put them in the package to help you repair cables that have them. If you have one, replace it, but again, you may not need it at all. Another tip to make this installation easier is dunking the bushing in hot water before you begin working. The heat makes the bushing material compliant and easier to install. When installing the bushing, notice that it's beveled. The flange points inboard. If you install it backwards, you'll be unable to snap the ball stud onto the shift selector through the bushing. Once I have installed the bushing into the cable, I use a pocket screwdriver to seat the flange before installing the cable back onto the linkage. These two flange areas with a larger diameter prevent the bushing from moving laterally. When installing the bushing in the cable, the flange can distort and fold over. If you don't make sure it returns to its original state, your cable could fall off the shift selector arm. When reinstalling the cable, I think the easiest way is to use a small set of slip joint pliers to pop the cable into place. Be gentle as the pliers really magnify your leverage. These installation tips should help you install these bushings and ones like them in a snap. And remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always handy to help. For Dorman Products, I'm Nick. Thanks for checking out our video on shifter linkage bushings.